Hello everyone. Today's verse comes from 1 John 3 and 9. Knowing who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. 1 John 3 and 9. Topic. Pattern, not mask. My mother used to sew clothes, dresses, pants, shirts, anything, you name it, she made it. She sewed it, but for her to sew, she must follow a pattern. And one day she decided to teach my sister and I how to sew. She told us whatever this pattern tells us to do, we must do it. And I thought it would be easy to do. And I didn't pay her no attention when I made my sad attempt to make a skirt. I was wrong. It was tough sewing and following the pattern because I was trying to keep the fabric down and do everything else. It was a lot. And I took her for granted the time and her talent. It took me to going through to see that I must pay close attention to her to be able to follow her steps. This is a reminder of our Christian walk. We can think the pattern that Jesus has laid out to be easy, or we think when others before us say it's hard to let go of particular sins that it that it isn't. It is. We realize that what people deal with and how people feel shouldn't be taken lightly. Are you following the pattern of Jesus? How hard is it to follow the pattern and deal with the things around us? When I first became a Christian, I thought it would be easy. I thought I had this under control. I, I knew what I was doing. To a degree, it is easy, but to a certain degree, it's not. I didn't realize that everything I wanted to do, I had to deny myself what I wanted. I didn't realize that I had to say no to me. I didn't realize that I needed to read my word so much and pray so much to stay grounded in him. I didn't know, people of God, that for us to achieve anything, we must follow God. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1 says, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Paul says it here, follow me. Follow what I do as I follow Christ. He didn't want the people following him. He wanted them to see Christ through him and to follow the Christ they, they saw in him. Can we do that? How do we pattern our life after it? Do we? How, what do we pattern our life after? Do we pattern after movie stars, rappers, pastors, prophets? You see? Or is it, do we do we take our word of God and we mirror our life after that? Do you do as Christ did with his enemies? Do you do as Christ did with, with his alone time? Colossians 3 and 10 says, and they have put on the new self, which is being renewed in, in knowledge and in the image of his creator. When we come into Christ, we are new, renewed and refreshed because we have taken on a new approach to life. We have to let go of our former to reclaim the life with Jesus. Listen, I know that living the way Jesus calls us to be, is it can be hard. I know trying to focus on the new pattern and letting go of all the distractions around us to live the holy life is different. Still, once we place ourselves in Jesus' hand, we allow him to tell us what to do and we allow him to help us go through and let go of our old habits. It will feel like we've been walking with Jesus forever. 1 Corinthians 4.16 says, I urge you, I urge you. Then be imitators of me. Paul says it again. Imitate me. Do as I do. Bear the same cross that I bear. A lot of people want anointing. They want more knowledge. They want to lead a church. They want to know their calling. But are you willing to walk the walk? Are you willing to pattern your life after Jesus? Are you willing to sacrifice your time to pattern your life every day? We must have a sacrifice every day to say, I am going to pattern my life after Jesus. We must say no to our selfish desires. Because Jesus wasn't selfish, Jesus wasn't cruel, and Jesus didn't seek revenge. Can you genuinely sit here and say, yes, I do that. I pattern my life after Jesus every day. Can you sit here and say that? Patterns are an exact copy of what you see. It's no blemishes, no mistakes in it. Replicated after the original. Hebrews 6 and 12 says, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For us to inherit the kingdom, we cannot be sluggish. We, can, we can't let our flesh dictate to us anymore. We must listen to the Holy Spirit. When we were in the world, we allowed things and people to control us, even our emotions. But now that we are patterned after Jesus, we must seek the things of God, including his promises. Ephesians 5 through 2 says, Therefore, the imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant Offering and sacrifice to God. People of God, we can't call ourselves imitators or Christians. If we can't love, it tells us here to walk in love because Christ is love. We can't walk in hatred or bitterness and say we are Christ of, of Christ. 
when we hate our fellow brother. We can't stand when they come around. No way, my friends. Every day we must choose to love because he loves. We can't say I love them because God told me to. No, what is in your heart reflecting? What is in your heart reflecting? What is in your heart that's reflecting of God? A command is a command, but what does your heart say? Do we love past the hurt that someone hurt us with? Do we love past the lies someone can tell us? Do we love past the person and past the spirit that they are carrying? Hmm? Do we? Can we? Can I? Can I do that? We must. We must, friends. We must learn to pattern after Jesus completely, not just the things we think we 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 have to do to get closer to him, because what we get, what what will get us closer to him is our actions. Not a mass we think the world wants to see, but we should do things that pleases Jesus. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us your word. We thank you for the love you have given us. We thank you for giving us opportunity after opportunity to get it right. And we thank you for never giving up, giving up on us. Father, we give ourselves to you. We ask you to help us to follow your word and to change your hearts and change our hearts and minds. Father, we make us lovers of you and not the flesh. We ask you to continue to be what we need and more. Lord, we help us to listen and see you, to see you and not to see what you are asking of us. Lord, we ask you to forgive us and give us mercy and grace. And we are so thankful of it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference. Philippians 2, 4 through 5. Let each of uh, each of you look not only in his interest, but into the interests of others. Have this mind among yourself, which is in which is yours in Christ Jesus. Philippians 2, 4 through 5. First Thessalonians 3 and 9. It was not because we did not have the right, but to give you give you in ourselves an example to imitate. Romans 15, 2 through 3. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproach of those who reproaches you fall, fell on me. Further reading. Ezra 2, John 21, Judges 11. So today, if you have a problem with patterning your life after Jesus, if you think that it's hard to do, it is. But it's easier when we allow the Holy Spirit to do it. I remember when I gave my life to Christ, I I was doing everything in my strength. I, I was I was I literally was trying to do everything the the way I felt like it should be in my life, and I did it without asking him anything. Like I, I stopped doing this, I stopped doing that, I stopped doing it, and I got so worn out that. One day I heard the Holy Spirit tell me, he said, you're not allowing me to help you. You're doing this in your own will. And I had to stop and I had to let go. And it was so much easier when he did it than when I did it. Because when I did it, I felt like I had the weight of the world on me. We have to learn to pattern our life after Jesus. A, a lot of times we we try so hard to be something that we're not when a lot of times we must let go of this ideal that we think we are or we think God wants us to do or we or God what we think God sees and allow him to tell us what he sees. We can look at our heart every day and say, oh, I know I need to do this. I know I need to do that. But what did Jesus say? What did the Holy Spirit tell you? Pattern your life after that is so much easier. It's so much easier when he lets things fall off because when we start letting things fall off, when we start pushing things off, it's harder. So today, ask Holy Spirit, you get a moment, 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 ask, ask, ask Holy Spirit to help you pattern your life after him. And I'm telling you, you have so much more peace. It will be so much more calmness in your life. I hope you're blessed and I hope you're doing great. And just remember that Jesus loves you no matter what, no matter what sin you committed, he loves you. And hold on to that. Thank you. Have a blessed day.